Hello, this is Javier from JKI and today I'm going to show you how to get started with the JKI State Machine Objects Framework. Uh, the SMO Framework is an easy to use but still powerful object oriented framework and we created it based on the JKI State Machine. And what it does is that it extends the functionality of the JKI State Machine so that you can create uh, modular and scalable applications using object oriented design. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, go to our GitHub repository and you can find us under JKI Software and JKI State Machine Objects. So here you're going to see a brief description of what the framework does and how to use it. So what you want to do is install the SMO editor. So I'm going to open a new tab here and this is going to bring a uh, VI package manager tab and from here uh, you're going to have to log into the system but once you're logged into the system, you can install the package. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click on install, and this is gonna open uh, a window showing me uh, what the JKI SMO editor is is gonna install. So you can see here that the SMO editor has uh, two main components. Uh, we're gonna install the the SMO templates, and we're gonna install the actual State Machine Objects framework. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on install and uh, VAPM is going to take care of uh, everything that needs to happen. So uh, I'm going to agree to the license. And this is going to connect to LabVIEW and install the SMO framework. And it seems like VAPM is ready. So I'm going to click on finish and we are ready to get started. So I'm going to minimize uh, this window and I'm going to close this. So the first thing, the next thing that you want to do is uh, open LabVIEW and I'm going to create a black project. So this is a black project and after you have installed the SMO editor, you can go into the tools menu and you can go into JKI State Machine Objects and click on the SMO editor. So the SMO editor is going to allow you to create new um, new classes based on, on different templates that we have selected. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create select where I want to save my, my new class. So I'm going to do it on the desktop and then I'm going to create a new folder called my SMO. So once I created a new folder, I'm going to select from um, one of the five different templates that you have available. So I'm going to go for um, the SMO basic template and I'm going to name, um, I'm going to name this class my SMO. And I'm going to select that I want the show, I want the folder to be shown when, when we're complete. And I'm going to go ahead and, and create my new class. So you can see on my desktop that we already have a my SMO folder that was created. So here we here we have it. So we have a new uh, a new class that is created based on the SMO framework. So I'm gonna drag this into my uh, into my project. And then I'm gonna show you what this basic SMO has for you. So you're going to notice that we only have uh, basically two, two files, the process and the test launcher. So the process contains the actual state machine that uh, you're going to want to modify and uh, add custom logic and looks to it. So let's open the process. And um, if, I, if I go into the, to the block diagram, the process is, uh, it looks very familiar. It's a, it's a JKI state machine where you have different cases that you want that you can modify and you can add your, uh, your custom logic. Uh, and in the, in the front panel, this one doesn't really have, this, this one doesn't really have much, but uh, you can actually use this process VI and make it a user interface. So, um, so that you see what happens behind the scenes, what I'm gonna do is, um, 
I'm going to show you the test launcher. So the test launcher is basically an example that shows you how to go ahead and start your, your state machines. So this is the code behind the scenes. So you can see that we are creating a new instance of the, of the SMO that we just created. We are registering for uh, some public events. For in this case, we're registering for two events. Uh, each each uh, SMO is going to tell us when the state of the SMO has changed. And the state can vary between unknown, created, started, or stopped. And the other thing that it is uh, that it is gonna tell us is if there was an error inside of the of the process that we are. Um, so after you have registered for events, what you can do is you can call the start SMO, and the start SMO is gonna asynchronously launch uh, that state machine. And whenever you're ready to stop, you can click the stop button on the on the front panel, and that would that would trigger the stop. And once we once we have stopped, then we're gonna basically destroy the all the all the necessary things. So let's give it a try. And I'm gonna run this VI. So you can see that I ran the VI and I know that the the SMO has been started. I know your question now is well why I cannot see the process VI. And uh, the process VI is actually running in the background. This is why this is this is locked. And if you navigate into into the browse relationships, you're gonna see that there's a clone of, of this state machine running. And we could we could actually see what's happening. We could uh, right now we must be waiting at some level. So in order, in order for, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop and this is gonna stop the, the SMO. So what I'm gonna do so that you see it is that in the process, I'm going to go into the macro initialize case and I'm going to add the these two cases and I'm gonna uncomment them. So I'm gonna do UI initialize and UI from panel state open right when we start. And I'm gonna save the changes. So there you have it. You see that when I run the test launcher, we get this process VI to, to start running. And when I click on stop, we're gonna stop. From here, we can start building more complex applications based uh, on what we have learned today. Uh, I wanna thank you for your time and I wanna ask you to please connect with me on GitHub uh, or go to our NI community page for the JKI State Machine Objects Framework and I'll be happy to chat with you and answer any questions that you may have. Uh, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a professional looking user interface based on the JKI SMO Framework. Until next time.